Hello everybody, welcome to the first in what will hopefully be a long line of reading videos that I will do of my stories and, you know, works I find interesting. Uh, tonight, I figured I'd read <clears throat> a short story I actually wrote a few hours ago. A short, short story. It's um, it's called The Summoning of Agamemnon. It's supposed to be like a sci-fi supernatural thing. As for the exact genre... Yeah, I'll read it to you. It can be left up to you. So, yeah, this is The Summoning of Agamemnon by me. <clears throat> While going through a slew of papers I found in the secret compartment behind the bookshelf in the old library, I came across a few pages detailing the writer's attempts to summon the spirit of Agamemnon, the Greek king of Mycenae. Mycenae. There were three pages in total. The first two detailed the bizarre manner in which the writer, who called himself Gideon, went about performing the private seance. Most of the notes were unintelligible, with few sentences here and there making enough sense for me to put together that Gideon, whoever he was, had tried to do something like this before. Gideon seemed to have been writing down his experiences in the summoning of the king's spirit <clears throat> as he was performing the ritual. As for the actual reasons behind why Gideon had chosen to call upon Agamemnon of all deceased people, I still don't know. When I got to the third page, the short manuscript seemed to skip a point after Agamemnon had supposedly been summoned. I say this because the fair paragraph beneath the one explaining how the ritual was immediately performed jumped into talking about communication with the spirit being a success. Gideon continued going into great detail about the sensation of otherworldly presences in the room, as the voice of Agamemnon filled his head and urged him to take up a pen and paper. <clears throat> the last paragraph, detailing Gideon's encounter with the spirit, ends with him being astonished at the occurrence of his body and mind being guided by the deceased king. According to his retelling, Gideon had actually been possessed by Agamemnon, who had written down a testimony of sorts upon one of the many papers strewn about the table upon which the ritual had been performed. In the afterword, which consisted of some scribblings on the back of the last page, Gideon rejoiced in the fact that he had pen and paper ready in the hopes that such an occurrence would take place. The last three paragraphs on the last sheet of paper were entitled Tracion de Desclerics and were written as being Agamemnon's account of his death and afterlife, as chronicled during his possession over Gideon. This testimony read as follows. <clears throat> I am Agamemnon, betrayed by Aegisthus, and rightful king of Argos. Look upon my face, <clears throat> so that thee may gaze upon true agony, and in my visage realize the true cost of treachery. For I was the unbowed, the steadfast, and the thinker. At my left hand sat ensuing forces, and at my right stood Helen. Oh, my sorrowful Helen, who now dwells along the tides of Styx. Hear my voice, and know your cries are both my torture and my music. To the watery depths of Hades may you disappear, my love, for now and all of time. <clears throat> I am Agamemnon, disloyalty made flesh. See my robe and tapestry of perversity upon it. <clears throat> know the name of he who took my life, and feel the sting of the blade as it pierced my heart. See, I guess this, with his vicious smile and bent heel as I was cast down from my throne. For I was not the last, but the first of those who in love found death in times of war. And when you hear my name, no, no vow is sacred, and no law, be it decreed by gods or kings, stands blessed. <clears throat> I, am Ama I am Agamemnon, father of Iphigenia, and Chisomereth, father of the winds of Argos, and keeper of its people. Know my story in the hopes that thee may be lifted from the lies of men, and ascend to the kingdom of kings. Hear my voice and observe the evidence of my rebirth. 
for this is my testimony and the evidence of my second breath. Witness me in my infinite power and know the slain king again sees the world where he once belonged. See me and know that I have not vanished from this world yet. <clears throat> From what I was able to pull together from the very short afterward on the back of the last page, this had been the first time this Gideon fellow had ever been successful in summoning a spirit. And this was just the first of a stack of self-contained manuscripts that detailed encounters just like this one, with Gideon reaching out to all manners of demons, spirits, gods, and more. It makes me wonder if any more of his handiwork is lying hidden somewhere around the, this house. Only time will tell, I suppose. And if or when I do find more of his writings, I'll be sure to start up my own written accounts, just so that when either I pass or fall victim to these forces, which may or may not be at play within the house, at least anyone who stumbles upon the ritual introductions will also know what to expect. I've made it my mission to simplify Gideon's records, and I've been quite successful over the collection of uh, over a short collection of rainy nights. I continue to search my home library on my off time, just in case there are any hidden compartments I may have missed. I may go into further detail about some of Gideon's other written encounters with the entities not of this world, but for now, this will just have to do. <clears throat> I apologize for my awful reading. I'm like, I'm, I'm half awake here, but it's just a story that I wanted to get out there. Basically, dude moves into a house, finds a couple papers by an occultist named Gideon, starts reading them, and it depicts an encounter he had with the spirit of Agamemnon, which was a Greek ruler. It was half, like, I don't know, it's, I guess, a supernatural-ish. I, I couldn't really come up with a, uh, a thing for it. I couldn't really come up with a, uh, genre. I guess it would just be supernatural, just plain old supernatural, because it's not really a horror, and it's not really sci-fi. Nobody really dies. It's more like just Agamemnon, like, hey, how you doing? I was murdered, and it sucked, but I'm, I'm here bullying it up in the spirit world, so I guess it isn't that bad, but I think that's going to do it for this video. Um, if my reading wasn't absolute dog shit with all my stumbling and mispronunciation of long Greek names... Um, tell me what you think in the comments section below. Like I said, this is going to be the first of a bunch of reading videos I plan to do, so I'll see you next time. Bye. Yo.